Greetings everyone. Today we will begin our academic year with Unit 2 Electricity, Chapter 5, DC Voltage. The objectives of this session are define DC voltage and know the different instruments to measure DC voltage. Towards the end of the 18th century, Count Alessandro Volta of Italy made the first battery. Since then, the use of electricity has increased extremely. Thus, electricity is becoming an important base of modern technology. Electricity is defined by three attributes, voltage, current, resistance. In our lesson, we will discuss mainly voltage as a main attribute of electricity. Voltage or potential difference. Look at the battery in the figure. You can see a nomenclature 1.5 volts. What does 1.5 volt indicated on the battery mean? It means voltage. Voltage is the energy that makes an electric charge move. The unit of voltage is volts. We have two types of voltage, DC voltage and AC voltage. We will discuss in this chapter only DC voltage. So what is DC voltage? It is a direct current voltage. DC voltage is a voltage that does not change or reverse polarity. In other words, it has a constant value. The most familiar source of a DC voltage is a battery, like in the figure shown. And this is the symbol of the battery. How do we measure a DC voltage? A DC voltage could be measured using a voltmeter, multimeter, oscilloscope. So the first method to measure the voltage is the voltmeter, whose symbol is shown on the figure. As shown, the voltmeter has two terminals. One called COM terminal, it is the negative terminal of the voltmeter, and the other is the positive one. To measure a DC voltage, we can also use a multimeter. A multimeter, as its name, is a meter or instrument used to measure many quantities, voltage, current, resistance, and other quantities. So we can use the multimeter to behave as a voltmeter so that we can measure the DC voltage of a load. Keep in mind that whether using a voltmeter, a multimeter, or any other instrument to measure the DC voltage, the negative terminal COM of this instrument should be connected to the negative pole of the battery or the load whose voltage is measured, and the positive pole of the instrument is connected to the positive pole of the battery or the load whose voltage is measured. So positive on positive and negative on negative. This is called parallel connection, like the figure shown on the slide. Actually, in this figure, we have an electric circuit made up of a battery, connecting wires, a bulb, and a voltmeter. The voltmeter is used to measure the voltage of the bulb, and it is connected in parallel, where its COM terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the lamp or the bulb, and its positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the bulb. Here are some electric symbols in case anyone forgets. The, the, these are the symbols of switch, 
cell, battery, lamp, voltmeter, ammeter, resistor, variable resistor, and motor. And there are many others, but actually we will be concerned in these symbols only. Here also is a simple circuit made up of a battery, a wire, a light bulb, and a, an opened switch. We draw this circuit without the real images of the components of the circuit. We use the electric symbols of each one of them. As an application, consider an electric circuit made up of a battery connected to a motor and an open switch. Draw the above circuit using the electric symbols we have just taken and then add a voltmeter that measures the DC voltage of the motor. Don't forget to write the COM terminal of the voltmeter or don't forget to show the COM terminal of the voltmeter. Thank you. This is the end of the session. Thank you and have a nice day.